Now that we're inside the template, let's take a look at the navigation inside of Serif Web Plus. In the lower right side, you're going to see all of your pages. And the master page will be one of the first pages that you hit in the drop-down. If you want to modify the master page, all you do is you click on View, Master Page Manager, highlight the page, and click Properties. Now, I want to have my pages a little wider than this 800. I'm going to ask it to widen the pages to 1,000. You can also select on the site appearance. You can select a custom background if you wish, but I'm just going to leave it the way the site is for now. You can also choose effects. You could do transitions into it, but remember with these transitions, they only work on Internet Explorer. They don't work on Mozilla or, or Chrome or any of the others, Safari. So I tend to not do anything with these effects, just to keep it easy. But they're available for you just to show you the scalability of the Serif Web Plus software. I click OK. And also I can add uh, master pages if I wish. Let's say that I want to have my blog in there and I don't necessarily want to have all of those bells and whistles. Simple. I just copy the master page that I have. I'm going to say that I want to copy all the background in HTML and click OK. And then once I have Master B, you'll notice in the lower right side, Master B is showing. And then I can just hit Close. I can delete all of this stuff so that if I want to have a blog showing and I don't want to have redundancy of the logo showing, I can certainly do all that and make this show differently. Now I may very well want to leave my navigation up here, especially if it's a blog because I don't want to have people just going into my website and then leaving. And that's perfectly fine to do. So I'm just going to leave that blank for now. I'll show you later how that Master B page is going to show when we start to incorporate our blog into this website. Let's go to Master Page A. Now. I don't really want to have these colors showing, so I'm going to go to my color scheme designer and I'm going to put in colors that are relevant to my gut clicks. Now, you can do hex colors and you can do RGB. You can ask your graphic designer for these colors. And you can also go out to the Google um, search and just put in hex to RGB and it will show you a tool that you can use to convert colors from hex to RGB and vice versa. I already know the colors here to save myself some time, so I'm just going to put in the colors that I know I want to have. And then I click Populate, and it will automatically populate the colors for my website. And then if I want to replace this, let's say I want to put in my Got Clicks um, logo. That's easy. I can just delete this. I can click Insert, Picture from File. And I'll go to my documents and find my Got Clicks web uh, header, and then I can incorporate that into my website. And then I can position it any way I wish. Now, when I go to view all of my pages, I can go to my welcome page and see how that all sugars off. So adding pictures, this is a picture frame that's already here. I just again simply go to my files and I can pick pictures that I want. For this sample, I'm going to go out to the Serif Web Plus pictures. You can find those. You'll find, go to your local disk go to Program Files x86, go to Serif, go to Web Plus, x5, and go to Images. I know, a long dance, but you can definitely find the pictures that you want. Now, I can also move a picture by clicking up and down and putting it into place. So again, your pages are located down here. Your master pages are here. You just simply click on them when you wish to see one of the different pages that's here.